Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 25, verses 8 to 10 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. Family, isn't that just so true that the Lord is good and that he always does what is right? And I find it interesting how this portion of scripture follows that statement by saying he shows the proper path to those who go astray. In other words, what the scripture is saying, that what is good and right is to show those who go astray the proper path. The Lord does it for us, and as born-again believers, he expects us to go out and do the same as well. We are to follow in his example in that he did what is good and right for us by leading us onto the right path when we went astray, when we went into the, into the things of this world, when we were unsaved and unborn again and all these kinds of things. But he showed us the right path. He brought us back onto that right path. He brought us back into a Christian life and a relationship with him. And because he's done that in our lives, family, he wants us to do the very same thing in the lives of others. Family, the great commission that Jesus gave us in Matthew 28 and Mark 16 says that we are to go and make disciples of all nations. We are to go and preach the gospel to all nations, family. And by doing this, we are allowing God to do through us what he did in us by leading us onto the right path when we went astray, because we are then effectively his tools to leading more people onto the right path because they've gone astray, family. And when we do this, it is pleasing to the Lord. It is pleasing to the Lord for us to allow him to work in us and through us in that way, family. And this instruction is an instruction that's given to each and every born again believer. So I want to encourage you, family, to pray to the Lord, to ask him to lead you and guide you in what is good, what is right, so that he can use you as a tool to lead those who have gone astray onto the right path, onto the proper path that he wants for their lives, family. You see, family, everything that God gives us in this life, he gives it to us, yes, for us, but he also gives it to us so that he can bless others through us with it. So he gives us salvation so that through us, others can be saved. He blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others and so on and so forth, family. And it goes on there to say, he leads the humble in doing right teaching them his way, family. We want to know the ways of the Lord. We all want to grow in the ways of the Lord because the ways of the Lord are perfect, family. And it says that he leads the humble to doing what is right. And I believe that that is a very crucial key right there in where it says humble, family, because the Bible says that God resists the proud. But when we are humble, when we go before him humbly with a heart attitude of wanting to receive from him, wanting to be taught from him so that we can walk in his ways, family, then he will teach us these ways. And once again, he teaches us these ways so that through us, he can teach others these ways. The revelation that God gives me when I'm spending my quiet time with him and stuff like that is usually the very revelation that I share with you guys in these videos. And when I minister at from the pulpit at crusades and on Sunday services and the like family, because when God teaches us, he teaches it to us so that we can apply it in our lives. And so that through us, he can teach others to apply it in their lives as well, family. It's it's a beautiful cycle that God has created there. If we will allow him to use us as his tools. And it goes on there to say, the Lord leads with unfading love and faithfulness, all who keep his covenants and demands. In other words, all who keeps keep the ways of the Lord, follow in the ways that was spoken about in verse nine there. He leads us on these ways with unfailing love and faithfulness. He's there faithfully leading us, guiding us, teaching us, showing us the way to go, family, as we remain humble before him, as we humble ourselves before him and say, Lord, here I am, use me. My life is yours. Show me the path to take. Show me what your plans are for my life. And I can guarantee you, family, if we go before the Lord with that humble attitude, as as risky as risky as it might sound, it's worth it at the end of the day, family. I made that decision when I was in my first year of Bible college that I was just going to be like, Lord, here I am. Use me for whatever you need me to use, whatever you need to use me for. And consequently, a couple of years later, here I am in full time ministry, ministering to you beautiful people through this camera and through Facebook and YouTube right now. But family, it started with that attitude of going before Him and saying, Lord, here I am. Use me. And yes. My plans and 
everything for my life completely changed, but I can say where I am now is far better than where I would have been if I had have continued with my own life, with my own plans. If I had have continued to walk forth pridefully instead of being humble and saying, Lord, here I am, teach me, show me your ways, show me the path to take, use me as your tool and use me as your vessel. So I want to encourage you, family, to do the same thing, as risky as it may sound, as dangerous as it may sound, as uncertain as it may sound, family, make the same decision to say, Lord, here I am, use me me, lead me and guide me on your path. Show me the way that you have because his ways is the way of life, the way of abundant life because Jesus has come so that we may have life and life abundantly. And when we're walking in the perfect will and plan of God for our lives, we are walking in that abundant life. And we want that, right? I want that. And I'm sure you want that. And I know God wants that for us, family. Thank you. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you that you are good and you are faithful, and we thank you, Lord, for your unfailing, uncompromising, unconditional love towards us, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will help each and every one of us, Lord, to come before you humbly, Lord, to lay our lives down before you, Lord, because you can do far more with our lives than we can in our own strength, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we do this, Lord, that we know that you will lead us and guide us in your ways, Lord, and in the plans and plans and purpose and will that you have for our lives, Lord, so that we can do and accomplish everything that you have set before us to do and accomplish, Lord, so that we can be your tools and your vessels, Lord, to go out there and to lead those who have gone astray onto the right path, onto the path that you have for their lives. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being used by you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being able to come before you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you are and all that you've done for us and all that you continue to do for us each and every day. And we give you, Lord, all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.